Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we'll be talking about energy and matter transfer. Firstly, we are going to talk about food chain. Food chain, we have at the beginning producers, are consumed by primary consumers, which are the herbivores, which are then consumed by secondary consumer, which can be carnivore or omnivore, forming a food chain. Food web, in more complex ecosystems, the interactions between producers and consumers form intricate food webs, illustrating the multiple pathways of energy transfer. Moving to another concept, which is energy pyramid, also known as a trophic pyramid or ecological pyramid, is a graphical representation that shows the flow of energy through different trophic level in an ecosystem. The pyramid shape represents the decreasing amount of energy available at each successive trophic level. There are typically three main trophic levels represented in an energy pyramid. We have here the producers, primary consumers, secondary consumer, and tertiary consumer. Firstly, we have the first trophic level, which are the producers. Their position are found at the base of the pyramid. Producers, mainly plants and algae, are organisms capable of photosynthesis or chemosynthesis. They convert sunlight or inorganic compounds into organic compounds, producing energy-rich molecules. Then we have the second trophic level, which are the primary consumers. They are above the producers and primary consumers are herbivores that feed directly on producers. They obtain their energy by consuming plants or algae. Then we have the secondary consumer, which are the third trophic level. They are above the primary consumers. Secondary consumers are carnivores or omnivores that feed on primary consumers. They obtain their energy by consuming herbivores. The energy pyramid visually represents the flow of energy from one trophic level to the next, with each level representing a decrease in the available energy. This decrease is due to energy loss in the form of heat during metabolic process. The availability of energy in an ecosystem is a critical factor that influences the structure, function, and dynamics of that ecosystem. Energy flows through ecosystems in one-way direction, typically from the sun to the producers, which are the plants, then through various trophic levels of consumers and finally to decomposers at fo as food chains and food webs starts with a producer and ends up as decomposers.